Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very powerful and exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to take up one very interesting challenging question from cubic equations. Equation is 2x minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 2x whole cube equal to 4. We have to find out real values of x. I will demonstrate two methods to solve this problem. Let me begin this video by writing method number 1. What I will consider here, 4 I will take to the left and this bracket I will take to the right. So after reforming this equation, I will write 2x minus 1 whole square minus 4 equal to minus of 3 minus 2x whole cube. And once I will take this minus sign into the bracket, it will become 2x minus 3 whole cube. As we know that, minus 1 raised to the power 3 that is equal to minus 1. So multiply it with each term minus 1. Now I can write this 4 as 2 square. So let me write here 2x minus 1 whole square minus 2 whole square equal to 2x minus 3 whole cube. Okay. Now a square minus b square, we know that a plus b, a minus b. Let's apply a plus b. So I will write plus 2. a minus b. So I will write this is a and minus b, so minus 2. Equal to 2x minus 3 whole cube. 2 minus 1, 1. So it will give us 2x plus 1. Second bracket, it will give us 2x minus 3 equal to 2x minus 3 whole cube. Now I will take all the term to the RHS. So it will become 2x minus 3 whole cube minus 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now obvious is 2x minus 3 is common. So once I will take 2x minus 3 common, I will write inside the bracket 2x minus 3 whole square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. f dot g equal to 0 that means either 2x minus 3 will be 0 or 2x minus 3 whole square minus 2x plus 1 this equation will be 0. So I will solve both the equations one by one to collect the answer or the solutions. So let me write the very first equation first. 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Add 3 to both sides. 2x is equal to 3. Divide by 2 both sides. So x is equal to 3 over 2 is our first solution. Now I will consider the second equation. Second equation was 2x minus 3 whole square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. This was our second equation. Now let us solve this one. So I will write a minus b whole square formula. Let me write directly a square plus b square minus 2ab. So 3 times 2, 6 times 2 minus 12x minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So 4x square minus 12 minus 2 minus 14x 9 minus 1 8 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 2. We will divide by 2. 2x square minus 7x plus 4 equal to 0. Let's use Sridharachar formula. Minus b. So 7 plus minus square root b square 49 minus 4ac. 32 divided by 2a. a is 2, so 4. So 7 plus minus is square root 17 over 4. Here we are having the remaining two solutions. 7 plus minus is square root 17 over 4. And this is our first solution. x is equal to 3 over 2. Method 1 is over. Let's consider method number 2. 
it is the method of substitution. So what substitution we should give? 2x minus 1 or 2x only. So let me consider 2x is equal to, let 2x is equal to t. You can substitute 2x minus 1 also equal to t. So once I will take 2x is equal to t, equation will become t minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus t whole cube equal to 4. Now I will expanding it. So let's expand. I will use a minus b whole square. So which we know a square. So I will write directly t square plus 1 minus 2t. First bracket is done. Now come to the second one. a minus b whole cube. a cube. So 27 minus b cube. So minus t cube. Then minus 3a square b. So that value is minus 27t. How it would be? A square is 9, 3 times 9 is 27 and B is T. So that is why it is minus 27T. And then plus 3AB square. So next term would be 9T square equal to 4. Let's add. I will get minus T cube plus 10T square minus 29T plus 24 equal to 0. Let us multiply this equation with minus sign as leading term is having or leading coefficient is having minus. So I can multiply with minus 1 t cube minus 10t square plus 2090 minus 24 equal to 0. Now this is one general cubic equation for which we will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. If you will find the eligible factors of constant coefficient plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 and so on. So we can try for few values. If I will put x is equal to uh, sorry t equal to 3. What will happen here? See 3 cube so 27 let me write directly minus 10 t square so 90 plus 29 times 3 87 minus 24 just check 27 and 87 is 114 and 90 and 24 if i will add then i will get 114 so that means t equal to 3 is our base solution so this is our solution we will consider it as a solution now I will use synthetic division method. So SDM, what I need to do, I have to consider all the coefficients of cubic equation. So 1, minus 10, 29, minus 24. It will be little lesser place. Let me write in the next slide. 1 minus 10, let me write here. T equal to 3. Okay, what was T? T was 2x. Okay, let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So 1, minus 10, 29 and negative 24. Now I will consider leading term as it is 1. So let me write here 1. 3 times 1, 3, minus 7. 3 times minus 7, minus 21, 8. 3 times 8, 24, 0. So equation was in T. So what I will write? These are the coefficients for quadratic equation in T. So T square minus 70 plus 8 equal to 0. Let's solve. It is same equation. Minus B plus minus square root B square. So 49 minus 4AC. So 32 divided by 2. Let me write here itself. So what I will write 7 plus minus is square root 17 over 2. And remember what we calculated that is t and our question is based on x. So what is relation between t and x? t is equal to 2x. So let me write here 2x and this value is also 2x is equal to 3. 
so from here we can conclude x will be equal to 3 over 2 first solution and from here i will write x is equal to 7 plus minus square root 17 over 4 i hope you like this video somewhere it would be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck